like just one. And then this is an area of a triad, here's an area of a triad, and I'm gonna blow up that show it to you a little bit closer. All the white spaces in here are then the what? The sinuses. Right, those are the sinuses. The pink, those are the cords. Okay. So the idea is <clears throat> the blood comes in in here in the triad, it flows this way. As it's flowing through there, the hepatocytes are absorbing the nutrients, processing it, putting it back out there. Meanwhile, the hepatocytes are synthesizing bile, and that flows through the canaliculi that are too small to see here, back towards the duct. Okay. So in this power, all you should be able to see is try to pick out a lumbar. Okay. And then, there's this. This area right here, that's a triad. And in there we have the vein. The arteries are so small we can't see them. And then these are ductules. But I have a better picture of that, but let me show you that. So then what I did was I went up on a higher power here. So now I went up to 100x power, same slide. Again, here's our central vein. Here's our triad. Now this is the, I'm gonna put PV here, that's the portal vein there. Here's actually another one. That's pretty common, they have different branches. At this level, that's the arterial right there, much, much, much smaller. And this is a duct tool. That's another part of the arterial. The ductules, when you, if you look closely, you'll see these are cuboidal cells with big nuclei. Mm -hmm. It's a little washed out up on the screen, but it just looks better in the scope. <clears throat> so again, the blood would flow that direction through the sinuses. Finally, here I took a much higher picture. Now I'm up on 400x power looking at it. <clears throat> so, portal vein. Bile ductule. And then arterial. Right there. So those are the parts of your triad. So we have this Well, if I ask you how to try it, it would be on top. Yeah. If I wanted to tell you, if I were going to ask you to tell me the parts of a triad, you could certainly identify an entire triad on the lower power, so I'm not going to tell you to pick out the pieces of it. Okay. So on there, here you can see much more clearly, these are the sinuses, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Now you can see why cords are called cords. Okay. They run through these little tracks like that. So these are hepatic cords. Each one of those is a hepatocyte. And then these dark cells like that, those are those dust cells. And then there's this connective collagen and elastic tissue in there. I think that's pretty distinctive. I mean, there's nothing else that looks like that about it. It's got that kind of round, 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 round. So That's the artery here. This is the artery here. Just oh. nothing but the smooth muscle around it. <clears throat> Whereas the vein is much, oh, much larger. Cool. So the goal today is, of course, look at this yourself, right? But compare it to that microanatomy model that I have in the back, because when you look at it, it should look just like this. 